Hello, this uh, video is going to be about persistent variables and, and how to use them. A very short, very short example, simple example that I'm going to show. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to have um, uh, uh, the, the story behind this is that, for instance, we want to um, accumulate um, volume across a chart. Okay, so let's open up Sierra chart and take a look at that for a second. Um, Let's open up a chart, for instance, the ES. Okay, so here's an ES. Let's change that to 15 minutes just so it looks better. And I'm going to add volume to this chart. And um, no, not this. this one. We want volume. Okay, so now we just have an ES chart with volume. And basically, what we want to do is we want to accumulate or summarize the volume. Um, across this whole chart, starting from the very, very far left all the way to the far right, each bar just summing it up and adding and adding and so on. So at the far end, we would have the sum of all the volume across all the bars on the whole chart. Now, in order to do that, um, we're going to be using, um, and we want to draw it, okay? We, we want to draw a subgraph. So we want to have a line here showing us at each bar what has been the sum up till now okay so what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, create a subgraph sorry about that we're gonna copy this method over to here okay give it a new name persist bars template give this study a new name. Okay, this is going to be calling demo study persist vars. Okay. And in order to do this, we need a few things to do. First is we need a study to draw. Okay, so I'm going to a subgraph to draw. So I'm going to define here an SC subgraph ref. We're going to call this cumulative Vol equals sc dot subgraph zero. So that's just a reference to help us out down here with the typing, and we're going to call it vol dot name equals cumulative volume. Okay. So now we have the subgraph defined. Now we need to set some values to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, there are a few ways to do this, but for the sake of this example, just to show how to use persistent variables, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continuously store the sum of my, um, of the volume in a persistent variable. Okay, like as a single variable, and then whatever that is, I'm, the, the the sum at the at any index, I'm gonna set to the subgraph. So if it's basically gonna be something very simple that looks like this. First, I'll define the persistent variable reference. So I'll do like a reference to an integer because this is gonna be an integer, and I'm gonna call this cumulative vol equals sc dot persistent vars i1. Okay, which basically is telling we're we're using the persistent variables from Sierra chart to store the 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 the, the cumulative volume in, and the next thing I'm going to have to do is just to um, set this or initialize it to zero when we start, and I do this like so. So on the first iteration, this is a one-time initialization; it's going to happen once. I'm going to do cumulative volume equals zero. Okay, so this initializes that variable once on the first bar of the chart. And how do I know it's the first bar of the chart? Because sc.index equals zero. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to accumulate the volume. Okay, so I'm going to do cumulative volume equals the previous value plus the current value. Okay, so I'm going to be accessing the base data in array with getting the volume at the current index, which is sc.index. 
And the last thing we need to do after we've summarized is we want to draw this. Okay, so we are going to um, do the following, which is what do we call this? Cumulative volume. Here's the it. dot sc index equals the cumulative volume. Okay, so let's look at this again. I defined a reference and I called my reference cumulative volume. Okay, and my reference is actually pointing at the Sierra chart persistent variables. This persistent variable structure retains its values upon consecutive calls to the study function. So every time the study function is called, I, through this, can access my previous value or whatever value I had set there last. And then here I have a piece of code that just initializes cumulative volume. And here I have a piece of code that updates it. Okay, On each iteration, on each new index, it's going to get the previous value I had stored plus the current volume. And then I'm setting the current um, the subgraph for this index, I'm setting it to the volume, okay, to the accumulated volume. Now I'm going to build this, okay, and then I'm going to go to CR chart. You see, I built the DLL for me, and I see that the build has succeeded. So I'm going now back to CR chart, analysis, studies, and I will add this custom study to it, my demo study persistent VARs. As you will see, I have one subgraph here. It's called cumulative volume. Okay. And down here, I have my um, volume line. And this volume, as you can see, it grows bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger as um, volume gets accumulated across the chart. 